and Silverthorne's, Silverthorne's own Red Gerard won Team USA's first gold medal of the Winter Olympics over the weekend. And as you can imagine, the town is very, very excited. <laughs> In fact, so much so that somebody decided to change the name of the town temporarily. I like this. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer went to the renamed Mountain Town to find out for himself just how big of an impact this teen snowboarder has had. So you make the drive out of the Eisenhower Tunnel down the hill on a windy I-70 to a place known for picturesque views, an outlet mall, and its colorful name. Silverthorne was a judge uh, probably at least 100 years ago. But if you take some paper, some binder clips, and a 17-year-old Olympian, and it becomes a town not about silver, but about gold. Somebody, uh, you know, I think probably under the cover of darkness, decided to do that. Now the sign and the athlete are the talk of the town. At the rec center where Red trained. Red is the man. Well, I got goosebumps with that whole thing. And at the local snowboard shop. I work over in Keystone and that's what everyone's talking about, having the local guy do good and gets to go worldwide and win a gold medal for the country. That's amazing. The official ruling on the sign from Town Hall. We've decided, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that up for a while because it really is a fun way to share it. And maybe even a red and gold parade. We are planning something, so we absolutely will be uh, doing something in Silverthorne to celebrate. And with Gerard and two other local athletes still set to compete in these Olympics, we could have the possibility of a gold, silver, and bronze thorn. <laughs> for that, we'll just have to wait and see. Reporting tonight in Goldthorn, formerly known as Silverthorn. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. There's room. There's I love room. that Do so it. much. Yes. That's great.